Speaking of network design, there is always a hierarchy of connectivity, which should be used when implementing network designs. Cisco has provided for us, at least to this level, a three-layer model that we can use to justify a design and to make sure that we're following proper procedure. Now, as you move throughout your professional career, you're going to notice that this model is going to be expounded upon tremendously into what is called the enterprise composite model that Cisco uses. But to simplify it at this level, we really are looking at three separate layers. There's a core layer, which is your true backbone that provides optimal transport between core routers or distribution sites. Typically, this is going to be the center point of your network. The second layer is the distribution layer, which provides policy-based connectivity. Any type of packet manipulation that must take place, such as routing maps or an access list or any type of security. Anytime we have to do peer reduction or aggregation of links, we'll do this at the distribution layers. And notice that this can be handled by any device that can actually do routing, whether it's a true router or whether it's a multiple layer switch or layer three switch, which is actually a LAN switch with a router component inside of it. There's also the third layer, which is the access layer. The access layer is going to provide the common work group access to everyone in the network environment. Whether this means that we're going across a service provider WAN to get to branch offices, or we are actually connecting to LAN switches and allowing our user-based PCs to connect into a larger network. That should be our hierarchy of connectivity. And in effect, we will have the ability to design a network based upon this three-layer hierarchy, regardless of how big the network is. Now, there will be additional components that can be added to this later on that will allow you to scale out so as to provide a global management hierarchy for your environment and also to provide defense in-depth security designs. But for now, the three-layer model is where we want to begin.